Is rapid charging bad for your electric car? Are the people behind me ruining their cars right now? To understand this, we need to understand the C rate of a battery. My name is Janos. I built three custom electric cars. They were featured in The Telegraph, The Guardian, and with YouTuber Tom Scott. Let's learn about the C rate today. The C rate of a battery is a measure of how hard or how fast you can charge or discharge the battery. Higher number means you can be more aggressive with it. Lower number means you need to be more gentle with it. Okay, what does that even mean? Can you give me an example? Yes, I can. The starter battery in a petrol car needs to work really, really hard to turn that motor over before it catches, but only for a very short amount of time, right? So that's a high C-rate application. A low C-rate application would be an electric fence. It doesn't need to do very much, but it needs to do it for a long period of time. Like that battery there can have a lower C-rate. Probably wants bigger capacity because it's out in the field for a long time and the farmer doesn't come there very often. Never mind. Now, let's have some numbers examples and this should all become quite clear quickly. Let's assume we've got a battery that's got a capacity of 5 amp hours. 5 amp hours are a measure of capacity for a battery. A 1000 amp hour battery is bigger than a 3 amp hour battery, right? So now let's assume we've got a load that draws 5 amps, such as this flashlight here, right? If you now run this flashlight for an hour, your 5 amp hour battery running a 5 amp load for one hour will be depleted from 100% to 0% in that one hour. We've depleted the entire capacity in one hour, 1C. Now let's change the example and let's assume we've got a better torch or better flashlight that only uses 2.5 amps. We leave the battery the same, we run it for an hour, so now we've depleted the battery. First of all, we're not depleted at 100%, we've only depleted it at 50%, and we've run the experiment at half a C, or 0.5 C. We can go the other way as well, and we can use our 5 amp hour battery and run two of these flashlights in parallel that would draw 10 amps, and now we don't even have enough energy to run it for the whole hour, so we have to give up after half an hour, and additionally, we've been more aggressive with it. We've discharged it at a rate of 2C. And that's essentially all there is to it. Maybe one last fact is, this is exactly where this conversation is coming from. Oh, I don't want to charge my car at a rapid charger or not. This is exactly it. Over long periods of time, batteries will degrade faster if you charge them more aggressively or closer to their rated C rate. So if you, home char if you can home charge as a consumer, um, rather than rapid charge, then that's beneficial for the long-term value of your purchase of your asset, essentially. Additionally, if you're building a car or building, you know, an off-grid installation or something, you want to figure out what the C rate is for the batteries that you're putting there, and you want to see if you can leave some buffer there uh, and not always, you know, not always run them at 100% what they're rated for. Like, leave some margin of error there, and the bigger the margin of error, hopefully the longer your batteries are going to last. Anyway. That was it. Um, I hope this was helpful and see you around. Thank you.